didn't really, it all came at the wrong time actually. I was trying to get work for ages after drama school. I did like the National Youth Music Theatre, used to do the Edinburgh festivals, we did all the flying in the streets and everything, and it had, you know, youthful, and then drama school, three years of drama school, and then you get, you get an agent uh, after drama school, that's the purpose, you do three years of, of training, uh, and there's like a room of 180 um, uh, agents out there, and you get two minutes to do a sketch, two minutes to do like a song and a dance routine, and, and, uh, and you hope that they come up to you in the bathroom and say, I like your work, is yeah. it? Anyway, I got a Kit Kat advert, um, <laughs> Did you? in Spain, Wow, after three weeks of it, leaving drama school, I thought... It, it, in Spanish, or...? Uh, it was. I didn't understand a word. Right. I didn't have to talk. Okay. Um, so I was, Senor Kit Kat. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what did you do? I thought it was a milky bar. We created it for, for us now, go on. Well, I just had, there, there was a party, and I had to open the door. The neighbour was, like, annoyed with yeah. the noise, and then I was like, don't worry, have a Kit Kat. Senor Kit Kat. Senor Kit Kat, have a Kit Kat. <laughs> so I thought, this is a breeze. And then the next audition I got was for the bill, but they needed an HGV licence. The actor did, and so I thought, oh, I haven't got one. So I thought, right, well, I'll go out and get an HGV licence. So uh, I've got a 55 foot, 40 tonne lorry, the raw oh. mail. I've got my licence, I can still do it. I can still drive my uh, And I have done, when I was an unemployed actor, I used to be a lorry driver. Good to have a backup plan. Yeah. My mother always said. Always, always. Um, and uh, so I didn't get that. And then the next audition, like two, in two years, had three auditions, um, was Bob the Builder, the arena tour. Playing what? <laughs> to drive one of the vehicles in a massive 10,000 arena and, and, and make it come to life. And I said to my agent, this isn't really acting. Let's, let's just, just wait to get a proper audition, like a proper one. And she said, I can't afford to lose the commission. Because agents work on commission, yeah. they, you don't pay them up front, they just take, a, you know, they take 10% of your fee and money. So you have to do it? And no, I said, I, said, I don't want to do it. And she said, I've got to let you go. Oh no! So I did three years of drama school, <laughs> had an agent for two years, but only had, had two, two auditions, and then I had no agent after that. I tried to get an agent again. So it was six years after being a professional wow. that I actually got my big break, and I was just about to throw the towel in, going, uh, I got the papers to be a fireman. I thought, what's not that? Be a fireman. Um, and, uh, but I had just, I said, last thing I'll do, I'll try and get a new agent by getting onto the Royal Variety Show, because this was before Britain's Got Talent. Uh, and, and before YouTube, right. um, and I said, can I come and do a dance? Fred Astaire, tap dance, with a root, uh, he has a drum kit, kicking drums, tap dancing at the same time. It's brilliant if you ever see it. Um, the very final bit in, in, in the film. And uh, I spent nine months, Royal Variety said, it's a great idea, get, get it ready. I spent nine months, I made a floor, I went around a plastic factory, got some cast acrylic, uh, um, B&Q for the, uh, the MDF, and then put, put it all together like wedding floor, like that, and then got a drum kit, two second-hand drum kits, nailed them down, and went through the VHS on pause, frame by frame, of this Fred Astaire routine. Took about 5,000 hours. I mean, I, I left wow. London and moved back in with the parents, which well, they all want you to do that when they're like 25 years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah come, come and move, come and live, in, live with us again. Um, and, uh, and then three weeks before, Royal Variety were taking, you know, accepting the, the viewing. They said, um, oh, we're full up now. So they just spent nine months. So I thought, well, I phoned my old school. So I've done all this work. Can I come and just film it on the, on the school stage during the holidays? Filmed it, sent out a thousand copies. I got two responses out of a thousand. One was just a, a little, an evening with Fred and Ginger, like something. And then the other was an audition at Holby City. Okay. Because they were looking for an American doctor for two episodes, I thought, ah, Fred Astaire, he was American. <laughs> <laughs> that bloke must be American. And uh, I went in for the audition, and they said, where have you been? That I've been trying to get auditions for the last six years. Because um, they said, we think you're better than this, come back next week and audition for a big, bigger part. And that was a three-year contract as Sam Strachan. Wow. So it was six years of trying to get that break. Yeah. It's such a competitive... Yeah. So many talented people out there. You don't have to watch Britain Got Talent to yeah. realise how talented everyone needs to be in their own little way. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and then it, what it was... What a great story! It was definitely three years of hobby and I thought I could stay here forever and I'll yeah. be part of the furniture. Uh, I mean, I used to watch Casualty with my granddad in 1976. It's been around forever. 30 year anniversary. Yeah, just okay. Yeah. And, and I used to watch it with granddad and I've just been working with Derek. Yeah. With Derek from Tottenham. And it was like... Every time I look at him, I just think of my granddad. Yeah. <laughs> in a nice way, in a good way. 
Um, and that, 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 that led, Holby led to a uh, casualty, and without a doubt, I, I would not be here right now if it wasn't for Strictly. That's a Holby led to casualty. Holby led to Strictly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I just yeah, say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So excited yeah. to be here. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Tell. Yeah. Tell. It's good. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, so, and then, and then, yes. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, so, shut up. 